Riverdale, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Lens, where we're going to meet with two students who were responsible for the last two uh, specials that we aired. It was a uh, unique situation this year where we aired the holiday special, which was um, late December, right before the holiday break. And then we came back from the break, and within, I believe it was three days, we aired the New Year's special. So here with me today are Anthony and Aiden. Welcome to the show. So Anthony, we're going to start with you because you were the, uh, the head uh, producer for the holiday special. Um, we originally, for the past few years, we've been doing a live uh, twerd holiday special where we are here in the studio live broadcasting to the school and technically the world. Mm -hmm. um, and this year we ran into... Uh, a bit of a roadblock or a speed bump where it was a hawk day, so there was a lot of other activities going on, and uh, we made a decision pretty quickly that we weren't going to do the live holiday special, right. but we kind of faked it a little bit. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Right. So originally, even before we were discussing even doing the live show, at the beginning of the year, towards September, we were thinking about, do we even want to do the live special at all? Because, you know, we've done it twice, and, you know, do you want to keep doing it and kind of just keep dragging it along, like mm -hmm. how much can you really squeeze out of it? Yeah, we're, we're here, like for me in, the, in my classes, I'm, I'm always eager to do new things. And I thought when we first did the live special, it was fantastic. We did a really good job. We did it again the next year. But I'm always looking for new things to try out and do to keep not only myself motivated, but my students motivated. And, and this was an opportunity to do that. Right. And because I didn't want to get rid of the holiday special because I loved it. I love the live stream element. I love working in the studio. It's my favorite part of all TV. But I acknowledge that, you know, you can't really do it that many times over without it being disinteresting. So I thought one of the most interesting parts of the live show is, you know, it's live. So, you know, you have a little bit of tension of like, oh, what if something goes wrong? And I have seen a British TV show. It's called Inside Number Nine. They did an entire fake Halloween live episode where they fooled all of Britain into believing they were doing a live Halloween episode when it was all pre-recorded and like ghosts appeared on the live stream or on the live TV. So I figured why don't we do that but do it for the holiday live stream where all the contestants and all the games go wrong and just everything is like a total mishap and it's like a disaster. So I wanted to save it and I said hey well you know what if we do this for the live show so there's doing it live and people thought that was okay so we ended up doing that. Yeah I thought it was a great idea it allowed us to kind of go through and still do a live special, but yet it was it was obviously pre-taped. So I know one of the more difficult thing was keeping it a secret. Right. How, how difficult was that for you and your classmates to do? It was a little difficult but because there was so many times where I wanted to tell people about it. Because uh, again, I love working in the studio and I love doing this. And you can only go and say to your friends, oh, I have to go into the TV or do X, Y, and Z so many times before they get suspicious about like, why you're going into the studio so much every study hall, like every two seconds, without, you know, it's seeming obvious that you're pre-recording something, not just practicing for a live show. So it was a little tough to keep it from my friends, but it was also really fun to try to like almost foreshadow it by saying, oh, you're having technical problems with uh, like some of the wires today, the feed keeps cutting out, and kind of like slowly like, uh, like drip feeding information out to people and trying to like lie and make it seem like there's something going on um, the only people that I told that it was going to be pre-recorded was the two Gingerbread House contestants, Isabella Iterati and Isabella Gabay, so thank you both of them for doing that again for us. When we filmed that section of when the Gingerbread Houses get smashed... When Declan had the time of his life, correct. smashing as hard as he could the two pre-made Gingerbread Houses mm -hmm. on the table, which I thought Declan, shout out to Declan, yes. I thought he did a great job as being the elf. Mm -hmm. um, he really owned that part, and uh, it was very, very entertaining to watch him. Yeah, uh, and Declan was supposed to trip, but he decided to smash it, which honestly made it, it was different, but it still worked yeah. for the elf character. But the only people that we told about the show being live, though, was the two contestants. Their reactions were genuine for when the gingerbread houses got smashed, and I only told them to the day before the actual show was supposed to air, because I didn't want them to come into the studio, because they were thinking that they were still gonna have to come into the studio on the day and do the gingerbread houses. We had told them that it was just a rehearsal when we filmed them. So only the day before, they were told that it was all fake. So they were the only people who knew, I know as far as I know. I know for me it was difficult, obviously being uh, the teacher, the, the, the TV studio was set up uh, for the kind of winter wonderland setup that we had and the TV other classes are usually in here filming and stuff and I had a you know even though we were done 
with the studio about a week, week and a half before the actual show, mm -hmm. I kept having to tell them, hey, don't touch anything in the studio, we're ready for the live show. And we had to actually keep it up till the day before uh, the live show um, so that we just kind of kept up that facade of, of that there was definitely going to be a, a live show coming up. Now, this is the first time ever for Twerd that we've been doing the specials where we've had two major projects, meaning two specials, going on pretty much simultaneously. And Aiden, you were in charge of the uh, New Year's special, which for people at home, we did air the Twerd uh, live holiday special, live holiday special December 20th, I believe it was. And then we came back and aired the other uh, special January 5th or something like that. So it seems like a long time away, but in actual class time, because we had that week off for the holiday break, it was really three days between the two specials coming out, which impressive for both of you to, to kind of put that together. So Aiden, putting that together, um, how did it feel? Uh, it's the first time ever we did a New Year's special. How do you feel it came out? I thought it turned out uh, pretty well, actually. From it was, uh, I went in thinking that it was going to be a lot easier than it, would, than I, uh, it originally happened to be. And uh, I, uh, it was a lot harder than I, like, I originally thought. So I kind of spent a lot of my break like f touching things up. And I spent a lot, it was a long time working on that. And uh, gathering the clips was pretty tricky. But I think in the end, it turned out pretty well. And I'm proud of how it turned out. Uh, when I first started working on the project, uh, it was, I, was, I was happy to like, uh, be in charge of it because I like editing uh, in the back, behind the scenes kind of stuff. So. I was, this would be like right up my alley, and I think in the end I did really enjoy working on this. So. Yeah, I thought it was it was put together very well. I thought it was great. It was one of those things that you know we we kind of thought of early December, maybe late November to be like, hey, why don't we try to do do this? So obviously it's the first time that it came out. So we we just had to find stuff that we had throughout the 2023 year. Um, it, we had nothing that was done specifically for that episode. Um, so it was very difficult to kind of harvest the media and find different things uh, to highlight Riverdale and the various awesome things that the school and community have, have been doing throughout the, throughout the year. So uh, kudos to you for putting that together. I thought it came out um, really well. For if we decide to do this next year, for next year's group, or moving forward this year, what are some things that you feel like would have benefited you as far as what footage do you think you would have liked a little bit more of? Is there anything, any advice you would give uh, the 2024 recap to be? Um, I would say like I would have preferred to have like a lot more footage of other sports besides football because I know the, what's it, the girls volleyball team had a really good season this year. Uh, I've heard a lot about the track team. I want to get some different kinds of shots of those sports also. And uh, I feel those are like the main things I remember I was having a few issues with. But I think overall, we did generally have a lot of footage to work with. And it's kind of tricky choosing between like different shots and different, like I know for the concerts especially, like there was a lot of uh, stuff going on with that, with, like the, uh, the color guard and uh, the band, the chorus. And like there's, I had to choose. So I had to choose like select clips between those mm -hmm. things, and I just I think generally we should have had more clips for like the uh, sports events, and I guess like maybe even a few of like the even like the holiday uh, hawk day, the the hawk day for okay. December. I think. So like just kind of like keep it in the back of our mind, just like maybe create a folder like, hey. Yeah. This is going to be the 2024 recap. If you feel like you have any footage that is of good quality that you want us to kind of put in there, Dropbox it in there and just kind of make us, you know, make it a little bit easier for us to kind of add stuff and have stuff throughout the year and, and more of a representation sports-wise of the, of the community and, and the school in general. Yeah. I think, I think that, that could possibly work. So... Jenna Ziegler, who was the one that did the, uh, the resolutions, she's not here. She's actually out filming for her project. Um, good for her. So were you guys able to see the resolution uh, part of the New Year special? What did you think? Oh. Um, you want to go first? I thought it was really interesting just kind of seeing everyone's resolutions from around the school. I usually don't make resolutions, so <laughs> it's an interesting way to kind of see what other people usually do for that. So 
I thought it was nice. Yeah, I think I think anytime uh, the Riverdale staff and and student body gets a chance to kind of be part of Twerd, uh, makes it more interesting. Not just you know we love seeing you guys on Twerd, but we don't want to see everything about you guys on Twerd. Now, did you make a resolution? Nope. What would have your resolution been if you made it? Um. Write a better ending for Batman. <laughs> okay. For the Batman Halloween episode because I screwed Leo over. I'm not writing a very good one. Okay. So we, we keep going back to that that Batman episode. We can't we can't escape it. <laughs> and let's kill Batman right there. Anyway, I, I, I feel like episode. if we have like a 20 year reunion, we'll be like. I will still be talking about that. That Leo. took up eight months of mine, Leo's hey, life. Hey, you guys did a great job. Did you were you able to be in the resolution? I was, yeah. And what what did you say? I think I said something along the lines of like finishing. Uh, the year because I'm I'm a senior now, so I'm going to college, mm -hmm. I, and I wanted to finish my high school year like on a good note in terms of grades, especially, and I wanted to score well on my like, remaining tests and things like that. Well, I, I my resolution was to clean up the media uh, the media studio and the TV studio, and uh, I've yet to do that, so I got to jump on that so my uh, so I can fulfill my um, resolution, but. I thought Jenna did a fantastic job putting it together. Got a lot of uh, students in there, a lot of faculty, staff to kind of see. And it really was a, a good opportunity to highlight and see a lot of the great things that uh, Riverdale um, did over the tw course of the 2023 uh, year, both school year and uh, throughout. Um, well, thank you very much for watching this latest episode of Behind the Lens. Uh, I appreciate your time. And uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. Thanks so much.